any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parley? Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parley in peace is an honest one. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. No, that I am not. If I could have revealed myself sooner, I would have. Do not listen to him, Lady! He will betray you! We must attack him now! Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider. To set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. Truer words were never spoken. 
But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Indeed they did. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. Deceit is the nature of men. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. You gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. I like this plan. Well, I do not like this plan at all. Inciting these poor creatures to attack the Dalish. Are you mad? I... Very well. If you think it is best, then do it. But I still think it is cruel. And you would... help us in this? You would attack the Dalish? Then we attack! They are weak with the curse! Let us leave him no choice but to break it! Break it or die! So be it. Come. Gather the others. Tonight, we go into battle. Zathrian will be our greatest foe. Leave him to me. And we attack! Brothers and sisters! Tonight, we have vengeance! So, it has come to this. The Grey Warden betrays us after all.
I will not. You think you gain something by supporting the spirit and these rabid beasts? You are a fool! You began this, Zathria, not they. You summoned me and placed me in the body of the Dread Wolf. This is your doing. And they deserve their fate, spirit. They still do. The humans that caused you grief are centuries dead, Zathrian. You bring suffering to innocence, as well as to your own people. My people will be cured when we rip the heart from your chest. As for these... these beasts, they will continue to suffer for what they did. They and all their descendants. <sighs> you will end this curse! End it, or you will all die! Never! Never! You shall suffer as I suffer! Right, all right. <laughs> 